I made $17,982 in literally less than five hours worth of work. What's going on fam? So Eric Ellis here. I'm going to show you in this video, boom, we're behind the laptop, how I made $17,982.52 with ClickFunnels in less than five hours worth of work. Now, just to show you guys some proof really quick, uh, basically if you log into my ClickFunnels account, I have 17,800, excuse me, $17,982.52 as an affiliate with affiliate earnings and um i'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys within this case study how it was less than five hours worth of content that produced these results now first and foremost one thing that i do want to go ahead and actually uh break down is that um i do have affiliate income streams and my own personal product income streams that I've made way more than $17,000, right? But I wanted to go ahead and actually show you this case study to show you that the content that you guys recently just went through is um, it, it's real as far as the perfect script and, and how to sell uh, products with YouTube video marketing, so on and so forth, right? So I decided to create this case study of one of my income streams that I have done no paid traffic on, right? Now, so with that being said, a lot of my income streams are kind of like a hybrid, meaning one may be paid traffic, uh, one may be uh, uh, YouTube, or one may be YouTube and paid traffic. This one is strictly YouTube video marketing and these results are from YouTube video marketing. So I wanted to break down the step-by-step -step case study to show what's possible, right? So the first thing is that you need to do is we already established, right? But you need to go ahead and create a niche-based YouTube account, right? So in this instance, if I go to YouTube, right, I'm gonna go to break down step-by-step step within this case study, what I did as a marketer, right? I've had the ability, right, to, if you notice on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm creating content about making money online or affiliate to marketing. So that is the niche that I decided to create my YouTube account around, right? And I did decide to do my personal brand. I could have uh, done like uh, another type of brand because it may be hard for me to pivot away from making money online or things along those lines with my personal brand in the future. Once I want to do like podcasts and entrepreneurship and daily vlogs and things along those lines. But with that being said, um, that's the niche that I decided to do. And just to show you guys an example, right, is best ways to make money online has 1,800 views, uh, a live sales call has 300 views. So I just wanna show you guys the importance of staying consistent, right? Because at the end of the day, when you try to make a pivot, you really don't get the same engagement. For example, 1.8 thousand views on Make Money Online content, 1.8 thousand views on Make Money Online content, and then the sales call I really didn't get anybody watching my stuff. So, um, and another one, uh, the number one success secret no one shares. So this is about like mindset. So I created a mindset piece of content, 300 views. A live sales call, 300 views. YouTube will not promote your content if you are, um, if you try to pivot in your niche. So you need to make sure that the niche that you choose is long term. So with that being said, I decided affiliate marketing and making money online is the type of content that I'm going to go ahead and create long term until I decide otherwise, and stay consistent, right? Now, after you go ahead and uh, create a niche-based YouTube account. The next step is identify a big problem that needs to be solved within that niche. Now, the cool thing is, and guys, this goes for any niche, not just my niche, but any niche, right? Just what is a big problem within that niche? So one big problem within my niche is online sales automation. So that's what I decided to actually uh, do. And, and what do I mean by that, right? So when I first started uh, to make money online, I was taught the, the, the method of basically build a list, build a list of your friends and your family, uh, and then this is the product that you're selling, reach out to them, invite them to a home meeting, sell them this product, so on and so forth, right? 
and it was crippling. I didn't, when I first started, right, I didn't like recruiting my friends, my family. I didn't like selling. I didn't like, I wasn't like the, the most confident person to stand in front of a room. I remember the first time I stood in front of a room and spoke, I was freaking terrified, but I wish I had a, a, a video of that. But basically, with that being said, there's a lot of people who still feel that way. And that's the reason why they don't want to make money online because they think that's the only way you can make money online. So what I decided to do was I wanted to go ahead because I know that's a big problem. I decided to go ahead and show people how they could make money online with online sales automation, right? So what that means is how to make money online without selling products, without, not without selling products, that's impossible. Uh, well, you can sell uh, services, but without uh, recruiting people, without uh, um, building a list, doing home meetings, so on and so forth. And the way to do that is with online sales automation. So with that being said, once you find and identify that big problem, the next step is finding a product that solves that problem, right? So the uh, product that I decided to actually promote that solves that problem is ClickFunnels, right? Now, if you look at ClickFunnels, basically quickly create beautiful sales funnels that convert your visitors into leads and then customers. So guys, this is exactly the problem that I'm trying to solve. I wanna go ahead and teach people how to use sales funnels, which is a software uh, or yes, a software or many web pages. This is a sales funnel within itself that allows you to send traffic, website traffic, whether it's uh, paid or organic traffic to these sales processes, and then it sells the products on complete autopilot. So the problem that I'm trying to solve is people who are not like tr trying to do any selling or people who are not trying to do home events or people who aren't, who aren't so on and so forth, right? I wanna show people an alternative option, a better option. So with that being said, what I decided to do was pick this as my product, right? So if we look in my actual uh, ClickFunnels account, I made $17,982.52 promoting this actual software that helps people with sales automation, um, that helps people with sales automation, right? But how did I do it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and break that down. But at within the affiliate program, so guys, there's different ways you guys can make money with YouTube, right? You can promote any type of products. We already went over that, but um, I wanna go ahead and speak specifically with this one. I decided to do an affiliate product, right? So a product that I did not create. Obviously, I'm not gonna create a multi-million dollar software company. That's just not something that I'm interested in. So instead of trying to create the product myself, I decided to get an affiliate product, find a product that solves that problem, and then, right, uh, where's the where's the actual product? So in the affiliate program, if we look here, we have affiliate links to different offers. The main thing, right, if I go to the affiliate uh, center, is basically the startup, right? So the startup is sending people to this page right here, which is basically the ClickFunnels sales page. Um, they change it all the time. So when when I use this method. Uh, before it was a different sales video a sales video, but you guys get the point right? I'm sending them to this affiliate offer So what I would do is I'll just get my affiliate tools or links, right? And let me just show you guys for for example sake So I go to get affiliate tools I decided to get tools for the 14-day free trial and then I just got my affiliate link to click phones, right? That's simple now. How do I actually get people to this affiliate link, right? So the whole point, guys, is as stated before, is YouTube. That's the whole point of creating a YouTube account. But um, what I did was um, I found a product that solved that that big problem. Now there's multi. One thing that I want you guys to know is that there's multiple problems that I can solve within my niche. So let's just say you're in the golfing niche. If you're in the golfing niche, all right. Let me let me backtrack or let me backtrack, right? So the next step, guys, is creating content uh, congruent with that product, right? So with that being said, there's multiple problems that I could solve within one niche. So if let's just say I have a weight loss channel and I'm teaching people how to lose weight, there could be multiple diets. There could be the keto diet, there could be a vegan diet, so on and so forth. Now, one, I'm finding one big problem. I might have a, a, a niche-based account, YouTube account, where I'm doing like, uh, just make money online in general, but there's individual problems that I can solve within that one niche. The whole thing is that people are trying to learn how to make money online and that's why they come to my channel. Or people are trying to 
learn how to lose weight. That's why they come to my channel. People are trying to learn how to attract the uh, uh, opposite sex, right? Within that niche, there are multiple problems. For this specific case study, the big problem that I was trying to solve was online sales automation. People who want to know how to completely automate it so they don't have to do selling, so on and so forth. So with that specific problem, look, not my niche, but the problem and the product that solves that problem, then you wanna go ahead and create congruent, uh, congruent content with that product. So with that being said, if I am pr uh, promoting an e-commerce product within my specific niche, so I still make money online, I'm gonna go ahead and create content around e-commerce. If I'm doing selling an affiliate marketing product, I'm gonna create content around affiliate marketing. If I'm creating, uh, or if I'm trying to teach people about sales automation and sales funnels, right, or excuse me, if I'm trying to sell that type of product, I'm gonna create that type of content, right? So basically, uh, what I did was I created content congruent with that product. So just to give you guys the actual proof, if I go into my YouTube channel, right, what I decided to do is go into my uh, YouTube channel and I searched click funnels, the keyword. And out of that, I made 11 different pieces of content over time, right? Around this specific problem. Now guys, as stated before, I've made a lot of money on YouTube. This is just one big problem. So guys, there's multiple problems you could fix within your niche, but over time I decided to, uh, to here and there create content around this specific problem. So maybe every month or two, I would create a, a, a video about this specific problem. Cause I don't want it to be redundant in creating the same content over and over and over again. So for example, first piece of content was created November 3rd. And then 13 days later, I created a content November 16. Then a month later, I created another piece of content. Then a day later, I created a piece of content. Then three days later, I created a piece of content. Then six days later, I uh, created a piece of content around ClickFunnels. So, I mean, that week, I guess I was promoting it pretty hard. Um, and then March, so that was two months later, I created a piece of content. Uh, July, I created a piece of content. Um, October, so that would be three days after that. December, which would be two, uh, two days after that. And then, right, December 1st, 2018, what was it, May 9th, which was December to May, what is that, like six months? Six months later, I created a piece of content. Now, if we look back, right, not all of these content did pretty crazy. My first piece of content did the best, right? I did uh, 12,000 um, 12, views. Now, I'm gonna show you why I made the most money with that one, right? Because one thing that I taught earlier is modeling content about other people, right? So, how I made my first week with Click funnels. So basically, this is J.R. Smith. He did a video two years ago, 58,000 views, right? And what I did, if you look at the thumbnail, if you look at my thumbnail, similar thumbnail. So I basically, I recreated his content, right? So 58,000 views, 12,000 views on my end. I literally just got the idea from somebody else. So I didn't make it myself and then I modeled it. So he already proved that people would want to uh, know about this specific thing. So I recreated the content. So with that being said, that's why it was already proven to be successful. That's why it's my most successful video because I literally just modeled somebody else that was successful. Now, with that being said, I still did pretty well with other pieces of content, right? The other 10 pieces of content but I modeled somebody else and it has the most time. So the more time you have, right? The more people are gonna come across that piece of content when they're searching for that specific problem they're trying to solve. And basically let's actually take a look, right? So uh, around the make money. So I made three different ty types of uh, content to solve a specific problem. The first one was making money with ClickFunnels. So I made six total videos. If we look here, I made six total videos. So how to easily make money, how to make money with ClickFunnels, how to make $1,000 per month, uh, ClickFunnels, how to make $100 per day, so on and so forth. I made six total videos, right? You got the point. How to use the software. So now another route, and the reason why a majority, instead of, instead of most of my content being about how to actually use the software, 
Majority of my content is how to make money with the software. And the reason why is because my niche is how to make money. So my marketing angle was basically showing people, right? Because I'm creating the content all the time about how to make money online. So I decided to kind of actually leverage the software and create content. So that's why majority of the pieces of content are making money online with ClickFunnels. Now next is how to use the software, right? So if I go back, I have how to create a sales funnel with ClickFunnels. That has 770 views. Then I have um, funnel hacking, right? So that's, that has 609 views. And then I have how to create a seven figure funnel. So that has 448 views. So guys, if you notice, right, the ones where I created a piece of content around how to use the software didn't get as much views because um, my channel is a make money line channel. So you want to make sure that the content that you're creating is congruent with your audience that you're trying to build. Right. And last but not least was two more videos, which, which was, were actually software review videos. So I actually reviewed it. So let's take a look at that one. So if we look at software reviews, here's a review right here. I have 12,000 views and then click funnels review. That one actually didn't do too well. I have 684 views. Now, the reason why this one did pretty well is because I have, I ranked the video, right? For ClickFunnels review. So when people are searching for ClickFunnels review, before they actually make a purchase, they're gonna come across my content, right? So I made two videos on review. So there's different angles you guys could be going as far as marketing and the content you could be creating to solve that specific problem. Now, the total content time invested, 283 minutes in content, right? I literally just counted up the minutes. So if you look here, we have uh, we have 13 minutes, 10 minutes, 23 minutes. It's not that much, guys. Literally, total time invested, 283 minutes. So that's 4.71 hours, right? And um, basically 4.7 hours. So with that being said, with that being said, let's go back. To my affiliate right that means i made seventeen thousand nine hundred and eighty two dollars in literally less than five hours worth of work so this is something that you guys can do now one thing that i did not mention yet we're not done here is the perfect script now i actually forgot to write that down so i'll just write it down right here the first step to the perfect script is a hook. The second step is I like to put social proof. And then next is the, the what, the how, and the call to action. So guys, basically the hook of your videos um, or the hook, you should capture people's attention within the first few seconds of the actual video. There's different ways. I'm not going to go into details, but just figure out a way to hook them. People have a, a smaller attention span than a goldfish. So with that being said, we, we have to go ahead and hook them. The second part is social proof, right? So you need to prove to them that whatever you're teaching them is actually it works, right? So for example, in this specific video, I showed you guys before I even got into the content, I said, look how I made $17,982.52 with ClickFunnels. Now, if I go to my actual video title, you don't have to have it. I could have literally just said how to make money with ClickFunnels. But what I did was I showed you proof. I showed you in my back office, I showed you my commissions. So that way it's proof. Whenever you give people proof, it's proof that the stuff that you're about to teach actually works. So when they actually go through your content, you're going to start actually, I mean, they're going to, you're going to retain them longer. And that's gonna go ahead and increase your watch time. The longer your watch time, the more YouTube is gonna go ahead and actually promote your, promote your content. And when you are selling something that's congruent with that specific thing, people are gonna be more likely to actually buy it because you're giving proof that you're the real deal. Now, even if you're selling something that you haven't got results in per, uh, personally, for example, if I was selling weight loss uh, products, I'm definitely skinny. Obviously, I never, I was, I've always been skinny. So what I could do is I could show somebody proof that somebody who's using this product is getting results, right? So social proof. Next is the what. So you basically explain what. Um, the what is 
the how I made seventeen thousand nine hundred and eighty two dollars and fifty two cents with ClickFunnels in less than five hours. That's the what, right? The how I'm literally breaking down the how right now. So this is how you want to go ahead and actually structure your YouTube videos. And then at the end of your videos, there should be a call to action where basically my affiliate link, I got access to this affiliate link right here. I literally just told people, so this is how you make money with ClickFunnels if that's what the video was on. This is how you use the software. This is the review. This is what I think about the software, so on and so forth, right? People are finding my content who are already interested in the product or the problem, solving that problem that this product solves so they are warm traffic. Basically, at the end of my content, I've already given them value so they know, like, and trust me. I'm simply just gonna go ahead and give uh, a call to action, which is my product recommendation. So guys, if you guys wanna get served at a higher level or if you wanna go ahead and make more money or if you guys want to, whatever, whatever I was teaching, I'm gonna say, Click the link down below, take immediate action, and it'll help you get there. It'll help you get to that, your goals, your dreams, your desires, whatever it is, right? So that's when you wanna, wanna kinda lead with the benefits, right? People don't care about the product, they care about the problem that it solves. So that's when I'm gonna go ahead and actually redirect those people to my affiliate link, that traffic, right? So if we look here, um, wait for the magic to happen. So if we look here, right, let's take a look or let's go back to YouTube. So out of all these pieces of content, it took me less than 4.5 hours, right? Less than 4.5 hours um, of content creation. Now, obviously there was a little bit more time invested in thinking of the actual concept, uh, editing, which I don't edit my videos, I outsource that, so on and so forth. But some of my earlier videos of those clip ones, I actually did edit them myself. So basically um, the total, right? And what I wanted to say was, uh, I forgot what I wanted to say, so I'll just uh, pick up where I left off. Okay, the first video created, and this is just more social proof, is November 3rd, 2017. The current date right now, as I'm recording this, is June or July 2019. I don't even know what today's date is, right? I think I wrote it in here. So today's date is July 19th, 2019. Total views, guys, for 11 pieces of content, $25,537. Total income made $17,982.52. And my monthly reoccurring revenue is $1,342.12. Now guys, why have I been able to make this type of money? Because guys, this is a continuity program. This is a software. So people pay month in and month out. So if this is obviously solving a specific problem for people, they're gonna continue to make this payment month in and month out. So a lot of this revenue that I've made is not from one-off sales, it's from that small core group of people that have been paying month in and month out to actually use this product. Hence why I've made $1,342. And if you look here, my uh, monthly recurring revenue is 1,094, so that's my core. Monthly re recurring revenue is basically the people who've been paying month in and month out. And then I do have some one-off sales, which is basically like the 200, the extra $200 on top. But most of my money has been made from this recurring revenue. So with that being said, what is the secret? Guys, the secret, guys, is creating congruent content within your respective niche that is congruent to the problem that people are trying to solve, that that product solves. So if you're trying to help people improve their golf swing, you wanna promote products that are gonna help people improve that golf swing so that way when you redirect them to that product, they were already trying to solve it, you're literally just redirecting them to a product that's gonna serve them on a higher level, right? Or whatever your niche is, it doesn't matter. If there's a problem to be solved, you can solve that problem by promoting a product, whether it's an affiliate product or whether it's your own product, it does not matter. So with that being said, the second key is ranking keywords. So guys, creating content around these keywords. I could have easily just said, uh, making $17,000. Guys, if I would have just said, or we're not making $17,000. For example, let me show you guys a video, uh, or not a video. Let me show you guys the, my best video out of this case study. So this video, ClickFunnels Review. So I could have just said how I made $2,541. Guys, there's no keywords if, I, if that was my title. How I made $2,541, there's 
Nobody's gonna find that. But the fact that my first part of the video is ClickFunnels review, when people type in ClickFunnels review and they see my thumbnail, they're gonna go ahead and actually click through on my video, which increases my ranking, my views, so on and so forth. So you're increasing your traffic. So the next secret is ranking your videos for keywords. So making sure that you're creating congruent content with the product that you're con creating congruent content with the, the, the problem or trying to solve the problem that your content solves, ranking for those keywords, guys, and delayed gratification. If you notice, this is, this is internet real estate. This is YouTube real estate. I created this content just under a year ago and guys, it's still paying me to this day, right? If I was to, to think or fathom that creating 11 videos and investing less than five hours of my time would turn into $18,000, I would've thought you were crazy. Guys, that's over, uh, that's over $2,000 per hour. At the end of the day, the only way that was willing to happen because I just sat back, waited, the views continue to go up, traffic continues to go, people are trying to solve that problem, continues to find my content, they continue to get redirected to my links, buy my products, and I'm just collecting passive income. Now, with that being said, the more real estate you create, the more money you make. So if I was to go to my YouTube, guys, I have made hundreds of thousands of dollars online, but I'm just showing you guys with that specific case study, trying to solve that specific problem. Guys, I create content around different subjects, different products, different reviews. That's just a case study showing you guys literally with le less than five hours invested, making over almost $18,000 with, le with, uh, with less than five hours invested. That's crazy. So with that being said, that's how I would recommend making money with ClickFunnels or any affiliate marketing product at that or just any product online. You find a problem. You find a product that solves that problem. You go ahead and basically create content around teaching people how to solve that problem with specific keywords. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make a uh, an offer at the end of your actual product. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and actually uh, get access to ClickFunnels or even their affiliate program, there will be links in the description. However, the first link down below is going to be access to potentially working with me as your affiliate marketing mentor. Now, basically, guys, I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars online. Uh, hopefully this year we're going to crack seven figures, basically make over a million dollars online. Guys, if I can do a high school educated college dropout, so can you. Now, you probably want to make money because you want to go ahead and, uh, I mean, take your life back. Be, be free, not have to work a job anymore. Uh, be your own boss. Build something yourself instead of working, slaving away, making somebody else rich, right? But the easiest way to do that is to find somebody who has already done it. I've had the benefits uh, or the luxury of getting to this position in my life to where I'm able, able to live life on my own terms. I'm currently here in my condo in Medellin, Colombia, I'm looking at a beautiful freaking view right here. Last year, I traveled 12 countries uh, in eight months, and I've been able to do that because I've cracked the code of making money online. Now, here's the thing. Here's the truth. It has actually taken me over two years to get results. And the reason why is because I tried to do it myself. But instead of you doing it yourself, I want to help you. I want to be your mentor. But I'm limited to the amount of time that I have so I can only help oh so many people. So if you want to go ahead and apply, go ahead and click the link down below. Now, guys, who this is not for, this is not for people who want to do no work and who's not willing to invest money. If that's you, go to the next video. If that is you, if you're willing to actually invest into yourself, invest the time, put in the work, right, and get a real business model as well as the blueprint and the guidance to finally crack the code and get one step closer to building your dream life, then click the link down below. Take action, grab access. Uh, I can't promise you that I will work with you, but uh, if, if it's right, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be right. So the best way is taking that first step by actually clicking that link down below. So click that link down below, take action, and if you guys want to know another way that you guys can actually make money online, there's going to be a video right here. Appreciate you guys so freaking much. I will see you on the next video. Eric Ellis Jr. Checking out.